Hey everyone, Clay Plays Games here. Today I am back with more LEGO Fortnite. Got another fun episode for y'all, but before we go into it, if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to help out and support the channel, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the join button on my channel or check out the link down in the description below. Also, don't forget to use Clay Plays Games in the Fortnite item shop. That's C-L-A-Y-P-L-A-Y-Z-G-A-M-E-S. All capitalized or all lowercase. All put together in a nice little row. So let's get into it. Today's video is going to be a little different than what I've normally done in the past. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to, I guess, kind of build a custom house. It's not going to be anything, you know, too cool, but it's going to at least give you all an idea of what you all can do uh, for yourselves in your own worlds. Uh, but to get started, let me go ahead and get one of the prefabs set. And the reason I do prefabs instead of just placing foundations is because the foundations uh, stick out above the ground, whereas regular prefab builds will be within the ground for their foundations. So that's usually where I start off with that. Um, I usually stick with the log cabin uh, first, just to kind of get a simple idea. And I will show off these builds here in a minute, but I want to kind of get an idea down of how I want to place this. Somewhere next to this building, which I, I gotta say, this building right here is one of my kind of favorite, I think? I, I don't know. But as you see, we've got the foundations in the ground. And a way to do this is you kind of want the walls and the corner pieces to work in a certain way. Because if you don't have the right length, um, it just won't work together properly. It's kind, of, it's kind of hard to explain, but if I can grab some of these wall pieces... Just to start off with, I usually kind of like to go for the uh, the log buildings, but I kind of want to stick with some Pleasant Park builds for right now. We are on the Star Wars Island, so I've been trying to theme some of the stuff up with the Star Wars theme. As you see, we kind of like we have to have the wall here, and it can either be like right here, or it has to be in a certain space within. Because sometimes when you're building, it could be an inch off, and you you completely mess it up and not even realize it. But we're just gonna start off with something simple. And we'll have, we'll place the corners right here. We won't worry too much about the rest of the building. But we'll do, let's see, what are we doing? Foundations, yes. Now as you can see, it's usually the big ones right here. And then you need a long one. And, and that's pretty much the, the basic of it. You want two big ones and then a, uh, a long piece, a long thin piece. And that's usually uh, the simplest way of doing that. But let me grab my corner pieces again. Um, but recently I've just been kind of messing around with custom builds and just trying to do my own thing. Haven't really worried too much about the prefabs of it. I still want to do that kind of tent village that I came up with a while back after doing my custom pirate ship, which if you haven't seen, I highly recommend checking that out. But let's get the pleasant park builds. Should be down here. Actually, what am I doing? Let me just grab the... Where is it at? I'm blonde. I've gone blind, everyone. Yeah, here we go. So, like, it has to be within the same space. So, like, you have to have room for the corners, and then you have to have room for, like, two big walls, depending on how many you want. That's usually kind of the way you tell to, to fit your distance. But overall, it looks pretty nice. Your, your main issue is really just going to be interior. That's that's the biggest part of, uh, about it. Uh, as far as windows go, let's do, like, two simple windows. Now, I'll do mainly the out, uh, the exterior and the flooring. I won't worry too much about the interior today. I just want to get something simple. Oh, I like that. Oh, wait a minute. Are these the... Are these the wrong walls? <laughs> I went with the wrong walls. The front, the front's just going to be all yellow. You know, wait, actually... That doesn't look too bad. I know it doesn't necessarily line up and match, like, color-wise, but... I don't necessarily hate it. It's kind of cool. I think I'm going to keep it. But obviously we need the floors first. And this is how you kind of uh, get this done before you do the interior walls. Because when you do that and you place these before the flooring, uh, you'll end up not lining it up with the rest of the walls. It's something I noticed the first time around. Um, but I know a lot of people already know how to do this. But I, I gotta admit, even I still need help sometimes trying to figure this kind of thing out. 
But overall, this doesn't look too bad the way it is. I see already I'm picturing like maybe a, a space in here for the like the kitchen maybe. Who knows? But like there could be a little living room exterior uh, somewhere. Uh, maybe a, like a let's see, living room right here. Maybe a kitchen right here. Then bedroom over here. Who knows? It can get a little crazy when you think about it. But then you have to worry about roofs and all of that. You have to make sure it's all distanced apart in the right way. If we get this set up about right here. It should all work out just to have the wide pieces. And that's what I'm kind of looking forward to. Okay, that's all done. And then all we need is these. And I shouldn't have to have any other kind of piece to build this. And uh, like I said, like th this can be, you know, anything you want it to be. It just depends on how many pieces you're putting together, how far apart, length and width was. You just have to kind of play around with it a couple of times and just kind of fool around. So I, I need to just get the other stairs. Ah, this is fine. Not looking too bad. And then we need to line this up with the corner. I always make sure this stuff is aligned. That way it all connects the way I need it to. Which, oddly, oddly enough, this feels like a nice addition to the... Wait a minute. That looks exactly... Yeah, it looks similar. I won't say it's exactly the same, but I just now, I'm just now realizing it looks very similar. That's not bad. That is actually my little house-garage co combination. I'm going to show you all the builds after this. Let's see. Then I'm going to need these two pieces for the edge. If I can get it wrought. I think that's the right... Is that it? I think that might be it. These pieces, oddly enough, confuse me, so sometimes it takes me a minute to figure out the right combination. Overall, looks pretty nice. And it kind of just fits in with the rest of the village here. It is so cool. I have shown off uh, two of these builds before y'all were supposed to see them uh, in the timeline when I just uh, made a video about the sleeping. Uh, actually working this time until morning because that's that's been a big uh, fix for the game and it's about sunset so I'll show you all again for those that haven't seen it but obviously for in here you got to focus on you know interior and whatnot and a lot of the time you just got to change around the windows and then add the walls wherever you feel like and sometimes you might have to change out the walls where these little uh, edge pieces that are sticking out like you have to use let me find which wall it is Sometimes you have to go with like walls like this that don't have that little ridge thing on the on the top. As you can see, like it does, it's not the same necessarily, but it still has that pattern, and it just helps for when you're using these interior walls. So, like if we're putting it together, it won't work because it's uh, interfering with those pieces. So sometimes you just gotta play around with it and uh, just kind of see what works. But I might do something with this. I might just make this like a a little hangout house. A little frat house that could be that could be what that is we'll see what happens but if we're going in order i've obviously shown off this house and this house before but i gotta say this one this one has had some changes this one has had some improvements i add a little garden into the middle of it uh which oddly enough makes it work like even better I, I was hoping to get the seeds lined up correctly where they were all facing the same direction so as you see those berries are facing the house these are facing outwards that one's you know, like that one's horizontal ways like it's just not all lined up but the idea was just for the oh, I could have done corn that might have worked but that was just the idea to have some bushes and flowers at like that kind of idea but if we go in here we have ourselves uh, a pretty big living room it's kind of a for a huge family if you will and it's it's pretty much the same kind of copy and paste on both sides a mirror version of it if you will uh, I did change out the uh, the rugs and have different things. This one has, uh, I think that's like a, a writing quill and a piece of paper. I think that's what that is. Obviously, that one doesn't have it. So I wanted to kind of change it up here and there. I've got myself some dressers. I have my thermal detonators in there. I didn't really have a use for them, and I wanted to keep them up pretty safe and tucked away. I've got my kitchen in here. I don't know what I'm going to do about the grill, though. But I love this little pantry room and that, like, this side. We've got our sink and, you know, table, like, or not table, what would it be, a counter next to the sink? What, is that a, called a counter? Is that, I, I'm going to say it's a counter, or just your own little kitchen set right there with a, a carpet uh, covering your feet. That way you don't get any dirt on the floor, even though the rest of it isn't covered. 
but like this is kind of my main accomplishment that I feel very proud of. Uh, and I obviously connected the, the like I started the hallway first, and then I made the rest of this. Um, that's how I kind of built this out. Um, it looks it looks pretty cool because I I, have, I was trying to figure out uh, how to do those corners, and I wanted to add that and make an extra room. And I just pretty much ended up making the same layout and platform for that side of the house. So it's essentially the same thing. But I knew I wanted to do a different layout for this building. So all this is pretty much just the stations. And uh, a be like a bedroom in here, painting, two beds, li like light, light, lanterns, lights. What am I trying to say? I can't speak. I'm having a stroke over here. We've got a little rug in the middle. It it's just It's just a really nice house. And I love goofing around and doing stuff like this. And I really need to get back into that. And so that's why I was trying to make this kind of custom village here. Oh, and it is nighttime. I completely forgot about that. Actually, let me go ahead and show off to sleep until morning for those that haven't seen it. I think that's a very good addition to the game. Very much needed, especially at nighttime. But then again, I am on the Star Wars Island and I have not seen a single skeleton. So that's, that's a pretty big benefit. I did not turn enemies off, by the way, so it's it's just because I'm on the Star Wars Island. Uh, but as you can see, like we've got this house with a giant, like the roof is very long on one side and very short on the other. But that was just kind of designed that way because I wanted an extra room, like extra room on the top floor, because I knew I wanted to kind of copy the log cabin idea, but also kind of combine my own little builds into it. So as you can see, like there's some uh, there's some references to the other builds, obviously. Let me find it which one it is the nope it's the jumbo lodge you know how the jumbo lodge is on the bottom floor where you have this this room right here the this interior specifically with the stairs right there um it, it's kind of to match that idea but then i kind of goofed around with it and made my own thing here and as you see like we've got this little space uh on this side of the of the top floor this is just supposed to be kind of this attic storage compartment. That's what this is meant to be. Uh, but we have a desk right here, a dresser, bookcase. Just something simple to add on to the decor of the room. And that's that's all that I've done for this house. And we also have another door heading out this way. Which I've done a whole lot of tree work. Like, I've cut down a lot of trees. I still wish they would have a thing where you could replant your own trees, like get seeds from the trees and plant them wherever you want. I think that would be very very beneficial to the game. Obviously, you don't run out of wood anytime soon. Like, look at how many trees we've got. But it would be nice. That way, like, if we wanted to make, not necessarily a garden of trees, but we could have our own setup of trees along the village. That was kind of my idea. Uh, and I, that would be very cool. You, you know, you just have your own little patch of grass and... You have trees on this side right here, trees on the other. And it all just looks normal. Looks pretty cool. Uh, we have this house right here. This is supposed to just become the suburban house. I set up a lot of the new bus station builds in here. Just so I knew which ones I wanted to use. Because I wanted to put a car in here. That's why the garage is right here. That's what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be the garage. And in here is just supposed to be kind of this living room area. Not a whole lot. It wasn't really made for any bed spaces. But, obviously, I've tried putting in cars, and they're just too big. But I did a, a lot of builds here, just to uh, get the idea of what I wanted to do. Because that is actually leading into that blue building right there. Uh, as you can see, from the, from the looks of it, it looks just like a normal house with two garages. But that's not actually what it's supposed to be. Uh, the idea at first was to make a, uh, a mechanic shop where like they work on vehicles and things like that. That's why like that's the first idea I got when I was placing down the bus station builds. It's like, huh, these look like things you'd see in a mechanic shop. Like that's that was a uh, kind of the idea. So I started off with that and then I turned it into something much more. But I'm going to show you all the bottom floor first and we're going to go through the doorway first. So like, this is just kind of like the idea. You got your little own auto mechanic place, you got the windows. I feel like these windows kind of match perfectly like, like these kind of window ideas like you could see see them working on the vehicles from the like the waiting room that was kind of the idea we've got these little car chairs too and i think that looks very cool you also get these uh these cone i almost said pine cones but these little cones that you get these traffic cones that you could uh, that i placed 
and this is supposed to be where the vehicles go. I would have left this space open as a roof, but I was like, eh, it's it's not really that perfect. Like, not perfect, but uh, just wasn't worth it, because even with like these garages, you're not going to be able to fit a vehicle in here anyway, but it's just supposed to give that idea. Also, there's these tire tables, but since they look like normal tires anyway, I just placed them along the way. And for anyone thinking about making their own little like racetrack or anything, like having their own races and stuff with these like like building your own car and having a race, use these tires and have it be kind of like a go kart system. Like that, that's almost brilliant in a way. You can like learn how to drive by setting up these cones. I think that'd just be so cool. Uh, but as we go up here, this is supposed to be a a house above the mechanic shop. That's just kind of the idea. And so if like, we go in here. And this hasn't been really set up yet, but in here is supposed to be another bedroom. Uh, just a whole lot of interior decor that I haven't worked on yet. But I do like how I've set up the staircase, like, within the workshop, and it's just very cool. But for, like, for what I've done recently, this is pretty nice. And I've got a lot of stations here. I was just kind of setting myself up for uh, this village getting it all upgraded to a level 10. Speaking of which, let me grab that. Because I know I'm going to need it, but I do believe I need a certain station. Where is it at? I know I had it. Maybe I'm wrong. Where's everything else? Okay. I may have not put it up yet. But at, right now, it's just at a level 1. Still having to work on getting it upgraded completely. Obviously, we need more planks. Do I even have planks? I've been trying to work on this over the past few days. I haven't played LEGO Fortnite in a, in a little bit. I've been kind of taking a break. Uh, I don't think I have any planks on me right now. Where is my... My lumber mill's on the inside. That's right. I almost forgot about that. I need to, I need to move these. I also need to move these stations. But as you see, I've got a lot of wood. I'm using a new, uh, a new pickaxe only because my purple one broke. So I've had to do a whole lot of stuff. Having to get material from other places and get to work on so much stuff. But overall, I really like this village. It... Kind of, it brought back that kind of creative mindset. I don't even know what that is over there. I think that's just a chest that broke randomly. I would like to go and find a brew, but that is going to wait for another time. I really don't look forward to getting, you know, ambushed by one of them anytime soon. But I'm going to get that set up. I need my cut amber. Where's my amber? Uh, I might have to go and get more. Oh wait, it's my, it's in my inventory. How come no one said anything? It's right in my inventory. Uh, but let's see, the essence... Do I, I do not have the essence stable. Okay, so that's going to be three from you. Okay, so that's going to be worked on. Slowly I've been leveling up my my season pa battle pass. Trying to get all the skins that I can get. I haven't played as War Machine yet. That's, that's in the works. Oh man, but this looks so cool. Actually, I think my... Yep, that's right. I do have my other axe in here. I've always, like, hidden my stuff... So I have to go looking around for my materials. Wait a minute. Wait, do I not? I thought I already... Hold on. Okay, I think I... Oh, that's right, I did have... Okay. I'm stupid. But we already got that level up. Not root. 15 planks. Ugh, I need so many planks. I think this is the last one I need. In terms of planks. So I'm going to go ahead and get that worked on. I need to go ahead and upgrade these uh, while I'm away. That's not even done yet. Uh, I'm trying to just get all the stations done. That way I, they're already placed in the in the village square. And I don't have to worry about them anymore. What is... Oh, no, that's sheep. Okay. Well, I've got pretty much everything out of the way. I don't have anything else to do as far as this. I hope that I could satisfy y'all's... Uh, tutorial needs. I wasn't really trying to make a, a grand house or anything like that. I was just kind of trying to give a simplified idea of a custom house. Um, but obviously y'all have seen the things that I have built on my own. And it's very simple to do it for yourself. Um, if I, I And that's the thing. I don't even remember how I did these builds. I just know that I started from one prefab and I just added pieces to it. And then I started working the walls placing windows in certain spots, doors in certain spots, and then finding a place for a staircase, and then working the rest of it on the interior. So sometimes it just takes a little bit to kind of get an idea for. 
but it, it is very uh, a very cool thing to do when you can make your own custom builds. And I'm going to end things here by placing an essence table and getting that out of the way. So everything else that I need in terms of stations, metal smelter, oven, and I believe it's just those two. So I'm going to leave that for a later date. I might go and get those materials on my own so I can get everything ready. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this little video. If y'all did and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Help out the channel and support it by leaving a like on this video and subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, you can go check out the join button on my channel or check out the link down in the description below. Also, don't forget to use Clay Plays Games in the Fortnite item shop. That's C-L-A-Y-P-L-A-Y-Z-G-A-M-E-S, all capitalized or all lowercase, all put together in a nice little row. Let me know if you made it to this part in the video. Tell me what timestamp you made it to, and I will see you on the next one. So, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video, and have a great day.